Welcome to the podcast. 欢迎收听 Yo Koso Podcast Day. The podcast that we are so excited. We are going to podcast. 欢迎来到我们的播客 Benvenuti sul podcast. Come and join podcast. Nihon kara konnichiwa. Buongiorno dall'Italia. Hello, hello, Brazil. Hello, Australia. Hello, Israel. Hello, cult- world culture enthusiasts. Welcome to Crossing Cultures, a podcast where guests from all over the world. Talk about the subtle, surprising, intriguing, and bizarre cultural differences in everyday life. And as you can see today, we have a really special episode. A lot of beautiful guests from all over the world. And if you're watching us on video, then you know that we're not in our usual studio. We're in a hostel in Lisbon, where everybody here is on vacation. And appropriately, we're going to talk about nightlife and bars and clubs. And I have these amazing guests from all over the world. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. Let's start with with uh, Mohammed. Yes. So I'm uh, Mohammed from uh, Morocco. Um, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much I would say right why now. Why did you and why did you come to Lisbon? Why did you choose Lisbon? Uh, it was like the best choice at the time when I tried to like choose a city. Okay, and it's really special. It's really. Uh, Interesting, so I decided to come here, and uh, it's been great. Yeah. All right, <laughs> and we have. Hi, what's up, everybody? Like I'm myself from Japan, and the reason why I decided to come here is like I've always wanted to come over here because of the port, like because of the food, like everything in Lisbon, tempting to me. But you're from Osaka, yeah. And Osaka is, fa- I know, it's famous for food and nightlife. Yeah, it's supposed to be, but I don't know. All right, <laughs> we'll talk about that. Yeah. And my name is Ariana. I'm from Chicago.、Um, I'm in Lisbon because I was in Barcelona with family, and it was really spontaneous. I'm like, I want to go to Portugal, so I came. Why not? <laughs> yeah, and I'm Dayton. I'm also from the United States. I'm from Kansas City. Um, and I am in Portugal. I'm Euro railing through Europe, and this is just one of my stops. And you notice we have two guests from the U.S. So Ariana is gonna try her best to represent the big town U.S. Right? Chicago is, I think, the third largest city in the U.S. And、uh, Kansas City. How how much is the population in Kansas City?、Um, I'm not super sure, but I'm from like outside of Kansas City, and so small town. Small town. All、yeah. right. And、Hello. last but not least, I'm Eva. I'm from Germany, and. Um, I come to Lisbon because I want to travel to Portugal, and I start my trip here, and it's a really, really nice city. Yeah. All right. So we really have a, a group that represents a multitude of、uh, cities and, and cultures, especially nightlife. Let's talk about bars.、Uh, how would you know, for example, Mohammed, if if you if I just teleport you into a random bar, how would what what would be the giveaway that this is a Moroccan bar? Maybe the beer. Yeah. 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 The the beer,、um, the atmosphere. Yeah.、Um, what is what is the the, the Moroccan beer, Casablanca? So yeah, the national beer is called、uh, Casablanca, but you would say a lot of people drink another one called、uh, Special.、Mm-hmm. It's the cheapest one. It's like、uh, one dollar or something like that. Oh, that's cheap. So yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah, you would know. I would know. Like I mean, a Moroccan bar, just like by. Kind of beer, I would say. I would see around, yeah. All right, and and is is beer the most common drink that you would see? Yeah, a lot of people would drink like beer, sometimes like、uh, wine, but it's、uh, usually beer, yeah. And does it matter? Like for example, in Israel, usually a beer is kind of considered a little bit more. You would see more men drinking beer.、Uh, women in bars would usually drink wine or maybe cocktails or. Well. To be honest, in most bars you would find a lot of men than、uh, women or girls.、Mm-hmm. For example, it depends on the bar actually, but、uh, most of the time it's just men. Yeah, and girls would just drink most of the time something like cocktails or they wouldn't drink beer, maybe. Okay, but it's usually like cocktails or or wine. Yeah, exactly.、Mm-hmm. Like more towards the sweeter. Exactly. Yeah,、mm-hmm. something maybe rather that strong, but some girls yeah go for beer as well. Yeah. I、right. drink even more than men sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, yeah they do that. Yeah, but it's not really like it's always like mostly mostly like, guys. Yeah, guys hanging around、right. in a bar. Masao, how's the how's the how's the typical bar in、uh, Osaka?、Uh, you mean the type of alcohol? Yeah, like 
people usually say in Japan is like most famous drink is like sake, but people always like drink their beer. And after the people always go sake or wine or like, you know, shoju. Soju. Soju. Yeah. 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 It's like mixed with like, a, you know, every like light. You guys know what sojo is? Not a clue. So we had an episode on、uh, drinking culture, and sojo is a Korean drink. And it is, the, it is by far the most common alcohol, in the, like hard liquor in the world, more than whiskey, vodka,、um, yeah. and any other kind. And, and usually people who are not from Asia are not even familiar with sojo, but it is、uh, very, very, very popular. In- yeah, it's like the Japanese type of the sojo. It's like Korean, not Korean type of sojo, because、like、we always like. Mixed with like ice cubes,、mm-hmm. sometimes you know, the orange juice or something makes it easy to drink.、Mm-hmm. So, after a couple of like beer or like something, people always go like soju because it's、so. easy to drink, like where you know, it's easier to drink soju, yeah, because like mix, mix,、ah, okay. like, okay. Able, yes, like you、sure. know, all right, Ariana, you're up.、Um, What is like、uh, a typical Chicago bar? So, most of the bars my friends go to are by Wrigley Field, which is the、um, stadium for the Chicago Cubs,、um, and in Boys Town. And、um, drinking wise, everyone pretty much drinks everything they can get their hands on. <laughs>、um, but guys usually go for beer, and then the girls usually go for something like hard liquor, vodka usually.、Um, Is it like fancy, like the, like the movies in New, like in New York? They're all fancy, they all drink cosmopolitan or things like that? Or、oh. is it more, no, no I mean,、life? there are those like kinds, but there's also like karaoke and like different ones. so... All right. Yeah, and so I'll represent kind of like the more southern side of. And so you would know you're in like a southern bar if you walked in and there's a mechanical bowl. You guys know what、really? I'm talking about? Really? Yeah. 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 And so, in a lot of like southern bars, there will be like、um, a bowl like in the middle to where like you can get on and then like it like bucks you back and forth and stuff. And like it's hilarious and it's like really fun to like watch. Like percentage wise, how many bars in the south do you think、uh, have a mechanical bowl? Oh, so not like、bowl? maybe like 5%. So like not a lot, but like it's very unique. Like I, I don't think you would see that anywhere else in the world. I don't know.、Mm-hmm. Um, and then drinking wise, Um, definitely beer, especially in the South. But then, especially on like college campuses and stuff, where you get more like hipsters and stuff,、um, it could be like IPAs. Okay.、Um, and so, those are kind of like the more like special, cool beers. Yeah. All right. What about Germany? Yeah, Germany is、uh, the country for the beer. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so,、um, I think、um, we are drinking. Drinking a lot of beer, but、um, I think the, the girls are drinking like long drinks or cocktails or、mm-hmm. like this. And I think when I want to go out, we drink like shots. Yeah. Like, the German shots, Jägermeister,、yeah. or, <laughs> or something else, yeah. A liqueur for the girls. All right. So,、uh, what time does a,、uh, like a usual outing on the weekend start? Is it, is it like early? Because I know some places start, they start drinking really early. And some places they start drinking really late. Like I know in, in Argentina, they, they don't even leave the house before 10 p.m. So the parties only start at like midnight or 1, 1 a.m. I think in Israel,、uh, people start drinking pretty early. I'd say around, people hit the bars around 9 or 10. And then like the parties peak at around between, anywhere between midnight and 1 a.m. That's pretty much the. the Top hours? Yeah, it's practically the same thing. We start like around eight, nine, and we take it from there, yeah, till、mm-hmm. like two in the morning, three in the morning. And there's no like curfew in Morocco? The, the,、no. the clubs have to no, shut the down? The bars close like at two,、mm-hmm. and then you have to go like to a nightclub or something to continue if you want.、Oh. Otherwise, the bars always ring the bell. Really?、Yeah. Oh, so, and you guys have that too, right? In the US, the bars ring the bell? Yeah, and in Germany? No, no. no. In Japan? Never happens.、Yeah. Never happens. I think in Japan only because you want to hit the metro. That's maybe the only、yeah. reason to leave、yeah. the bar. Yeah. yeah, also in Tel Aviv, there's no such thing as a, a, a bar that closes before dawn. You can stay at the bar. No, It's just、right. until the last customer. Maybe、mm-hmm. it's something they're required by law to do that. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to go out and find some 
place to do that. So, but in Japan, like, what is the time that, that people usually go out for clubbing or, and go to a bar? When it comes to clubbing, people would hit zero, like, around 1 a.m. or something. Mm, that's so, right. uh, but before, like, we go to the bar, no, I mean, before we go to the nightclub, we always hit, like, some cheap drinking bar or something. You know, have you heard of Nomi Hodai? All you can drink. Yeah, all you can drink. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we get, like, some going out energy or something and uh-huh. then we got, got hit the club so, and you would leave the club on the weekend at what time like when is the party over oh five six a.m oh okay oh, yeah. that's uh, that's super late yeah. not later than you guys i guess right for sure and then i think another unique thing about especially like college age students is um maybe you guys heard of like a darty no and so it's a day party and oh, so okay. you wake up, <laughs> you you wake up really early, and then you just kind of party the entire day, and so it's all day party. But that that typically is just for Saturdays or maybe Sundays. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, oh. like holidays. But like on a normal weekend, do people usually what time are like do the bars peak? Um, is it relatively early, like eight or nine, or no later than that? Later in the night, maybe like eleven. Yeah, 10, 11, yeah. And like the, the usual curfew or when, what, what time do, do they usually ring the bell? Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not typically out at that time. Um, I don't know, like three maybe? Like that might, I'm not sure. Yeah, that makes, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, in Germany it's the same. So uh, we go out at 10 or 11 and the clubbing glows like 5 o'clock. Uh-huh. But in in Berlin, it's uh, really special. There are uh, like clubs who never close at the weekend. So yeah, that's yeah. really crazy. Yeah, so, I've heard that in Berlin, there like yeah. some clubs. Their opening hours are like Tuesday to Thursday, and yeah. they're open like consecutively the, the, the yeah. whole time. And there's this, like there's no day and night. You just party until you drop. Yeah, Berlin is really uh, special for have a party night life. That's it's intense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember like two two things uh, that are uh, that I thought were distinct about uh, Berlin nightlife. Uh, one is that it, it's the only place in the world where I saw you can walk into a bar at like eleven p.m. and everybody's drinking beer, but everybody's on their laptop, yeah. and they're right. just sitting there, and just, everybody's on their own, like on their laptop, drinking beer, and that's like a night out. Mm-hmm. And on the uh, or like there's and there's like tiny little cafes where you, you, you get like a beer and you sit with your friends. It's really, really tiny. It's even tinier than this room. But on the other side, there's like underground parties where everything is crazy, like next level crazy. Oh, People man. are dancing naked in cages and everything's on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Like, that's oh, special, but that's special yeah. in Berlin. Though. Berlin, yeah. yeah it's uh, they're like some places have a very unique um, nightlife culture. And I, I, I wanted to ask you, Masao, about the izakaya, because that is something that doesn't exist anywhere. So can you tell us a little bit about izakaya? Izakaya, oh, okay. Like, I don't know it's related to izakaya or something, but like it's being very popular. You know, guys know like stand-up bar? Mm-hmm. There is no seat. So you can, you guys actually cannot have a seat. People have to like just only stand at the bar. And then if you go, there's a lot of like small bar and it's called, not izakar, it's like bar. But like if people say it's bar, it's like very relaxing. It's like very, a little bit fancy, right? Mm -hmm. But like if you guys go to like stand up bar, it's like super cheap and it's like occupied. If you go with like five people, it's like super occupied, like it's very small. And you know, people can get drunk super easy. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to ask, has any one of you ever been to anybody else's country? Have you been to Germany or Japan or Morocco? No. I've technically been to, I've been to Munich, but that was just for like two days. And I didn't get to experience the nightlife, so. So well, I, I'll still, we'll still get to Munich, but I want to say that I, I went to Tokyo and there's a place in Tokyo called Golden Guy, yeah. which is like a, a special district in Tokyo where there's bars with like two seats. That's it. You, the, the bar can only hold two customers or three or four customers. And there was one bar that I really wanted to go in because every bar in, in Tokyo and I think also in Osaka, every bar has a theme. Like this bar is just for bikers. This bar is just for heavy metal. This bar is for Disney music. This bar is Star Wars. So there was a bar that I really wanted to get into. It was, it was uh, like a, 
uh, Japanese cinema bar. And three days I waited to get into the bar. And then the third day they let me in. And it was like me and like four other uh, scholars who are like scholars of Japanese cinema. And we had like a, a conversation on, over a beer. And, uh, and also in, in Japan, the bar culture it has a lot to do with the, the food that you get served in a bar. Right. Yeah, you, yeah, there's exactly. specific food that you, you get when you enter a bar, um, mentaku and, and things like that. Right. Mentaku. Yeah. Mentaku. I have no idea what is well, it. Um, Ehire. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Japanese people. Oh, I, I wouldn't say like every Japanese people, but like in tip career, like, you know, Japanese people cannot drink just only the beer. It's always beer with some you know, some small, like, snacks. Sure. Right? Yeah. So it goes with... It makes me a little bit, you know, forced to drink. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a mix of the taste. It's, like, super great. You got, like, some snacks with a beer or something. Yeah. Because so, you, know. you guys have that in the States, right? You, know, so you get pretzels and, uh, like, chips and nachos and things like that. But I think the Japanese take it to the next level. You get, like, dried uh, stingray yeah. and, like, all the... Like, but I think it's... At least I was told it's special foods that you would only get served in a bar. Huh. And you, it, it would be non-typical to find them, like mm-hmm. some people eat them otherwise. And I wanted to ask uh, Eva about uh, Oktoberfest. <laughs> yeah, that's really a special channel, yeah. Um, yeah, what do you want to know about the... Well, first of all, like, w- tourists go to Germany for Oktoberfest to sit in a tent and drink beer. And, you know, it's kind of like the, the, they, they do the tour of drinking beer. Yeah. But for a German person who lives in, I think it's Bavaria, the, yeah. where it's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. everywhere in Germany, right? Yeah, but, yeah. Like, the smaller one as well, yeah. How do you experience Oktoberfest? Do you go out every day? Is it a celebration or is it like something that you brush off? You don't, you're not really celebrating Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah, we, we celebrate it. And now it's uh, in every small city as well. So sometimes they have the tent and then the live band and everybody stands on the table uh, and have fun and drinking beer. And that's nice. And there's like the green beer, right? Or is that the... the green there's a like green beer in Berlin, I think. That they serve a like green... Colored beer. No, no. We have that for like St. Patrick's Day. For St. Day. Patrick's yeah. Day? Yeah. I might be confused. I remember having like green beer in yeah. Berlin. So it's German beer. <laughs> German beer? Yeah. And, um, and like big, big, big glasses, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah we, like this. Beer. One liter. One liter of oh, beer. Man. So... So how, how big is like uh, Budweiser or like what's the... Here's, the, the, here's my question. Like, describe uh, American drinking culture. How far is it away from, you know, what we see in the movies? People chugging, people, you know, sh- uh, sh- how do you call it? Shotgunning? Shotgunning? Yeah. Like, okay, first of all, ex- <laughs> you guys have to explain what shotgunning is and what chugging is and all those parts. But, and like, how far is genuine, real, down-to-earth American culture from the depiction of it in, in Hollywood movies? It, it's accurate. It's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just said that. Um, so shotgunning, you take a beer, you um, take like a key and kind of like poke a hole in like the bottom part, and then you um, like open the can and just chug it. And then <laughs> they have competitions to see who could do it the fastest. And is there any advantage of drinking a beer that way and not just like a normal person opening it when we're supposed to be open? <laughs> and it just gets you drunk faster. That's the thing. Uh-huh. And the whole, the, the punching the hole in the bottom that allows the liquid to go out quicker. Mm-hmm. So it's all about just like how quickly. Oh, because like, air can get in. Exactly. And push. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 But in Germany, the people do the same on the festival. Yeah, really? really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you don't enjoy, that's, that's really weird what you said, because I would imagine that German people want to enjoy the beer by drinking it slowly out of a big glass mug yeah. properly, because there's like a traditional aspect of drinking beer. Mm-hmm. Whereas I think, at least for young Americans, and excuse me if I'm getting it completely wrong, <laughs> beer is just a means to getting drunk. Which is well, really wrong. and so like, we have like a lot of like drinking games. Mm-hmm. And so, I don't yeah. know, do you guys play, like, beer pong yeah, yes, and, like, stuff yeah. like that? Okay, yeah. So that's you play I, beer pong in yes, Germany? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so, yeah. That's, <laughs> like, at least uh, college drinking is all around, like, games and stuff like that. 
Yeah. So, like, aside from beer pong, give me an example of, like, a drinking game. Um, there's Boom Cup. It's um, a bunch of cups are on a table, and they have, um, like, a little bit of alcohol on it. And then there's the Death Cup. And in the middle, like, there's a whole bunch of, like, different mixtures, however you want to do it. And then there's one cup over here, one cup over here. And then all of the people are around the center, and then there's, there's a ping pong ball. And you have to bounce it in the cup, and then eventually, like... If the person next to you gets it before you do, they boom your cup and you have to chug. Uh -huh. And eventually, all there's left is the death cup. And the last person to get it drinks. All right. What was that game called? Boom, boom, boom cup. cup. I had a drinking game in Reykjavik. In okay. the hostel, I met some <clears throat> Americans from Texas. Mm -hmm. They bought a lot of beers to the hostel, to the rooftop. And they started a game and I, <laughs> I joined them. And uh, it was like with cars and you make rules and if you like, if you make a mistake or something, you have to drink okay. yeah. and you can make your own rules. For example, yeah. Some, yeah, it's a yeah. person in the game can make a rule or maybe you can ask a question, for example, what are like the name of the states of the US and you don't like answer really quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to drink. Uh, yeah. and then so it's, it's yeah, it's, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. I think, was it with cards? With cards, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Then you put the card under the, the tab of the beer. Exactly. Yeah. And then it's so like you it keep... It open, and if it opens, so you have to drink the whole thing. Yeah, so you keep those cards yeah. under like the tab that you typically open it with. Yeah, but when, exactly. when there like becomes so many cards that it opens, yeah, it opens. you have to chug the beer. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with the... <laughs> the, the America. Do you have anything like that like in Japan? Uh, drinking games? Oh, drinking game. Oh, for example... Uh, some game is like, you know, we, first we need to choose like some topic, for example, if it's an uh, animal, first people, if you say like dog, next yeah. person like dog, carrot, and some the people like dog, carrot, like horse or something, and the first people like dog, carrot, horse, blah, 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 <laughs> so like, you know. And the first one who forgets an animal, and drink. drinks so, a like, bit. When we are drinking, my, our brain is not working, <laughs> Like I don't think I've I've never I've never seen something like that in Israel. I mean, I've once organized a beer pong game, and I know people who are, who play like drinking, but they're all inspired by other. Like I don't think there's something uniquely Israeli in in at least not that I'm aware of. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, like college drinking because again, there's there's like I think there's like a, a parallel. Uh, universe as, as far as American culture that's like specifically college and I think a lot of that is mirrored in Israel in people who are in the military we'll discuss that yeah. later but just like ex like tell us a little bit about how the college experience is in terms of nightlife partying how does that work yeah so I think kind of like what you were talking about earlier of like the movies and stuff and so like we've all seen the movies as well and so a lot of people when they go to college they want to kind of replicate the movies. They want to experience that same thing. And so they go in and they're kind of doing the same thing that they saw in the movie. So they want to play the really crazy drinking game. They want to go do, have all the crazy events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the same way that like other countries might be like replicating American um, like TV and stuff like that. So are we. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's more life imitating art than, than the yeah. other way around. Yeah. I think a lot in Israel, uh, you know, there's a mandatory military service. So everybody who's like 18 or not, most people who are 18, uh, they go to the military and then, but it's, it's not like the U S military. So they go back home almost every weekend. Mm -hmm. And when they go back home, they're just teenagers who, who want to party. So there's like specific parties for people who are out the military, they're young, they, they, they drink like the cheapest alcohol, vodka Red Bull, uh, vodka orange juice, like the cheapest alcohol, and they go crazy, and they, they party, and then they, they sleep the, the entire weekend until they have yeah. to go back to the base. So, and I think a lot of that kind of culture is also very, very, you know, you, you see how your contemporaries in, in the U.S. act, and, and they try to mimic that. I think, sure. I don't know. But how is it like for young people in, in Germany, like 18, 19, do they go wild? Is there like a specific culture that uh, they follow? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, uh, they drink uh, cheap alcohol and yeah, they meet us together and then they're drinking and yeah. And, and in Japan, I think I would guess that in Japan they're a little bit more... Um, Strict. Strict? Is that true? Yeah, first of all, like, we're allowed to drink 
like over the twenty years old. So first yeah. year of the college and、mm-hmm. the second year of the college can not drink、mm-hmm. like basically, but like some people are sneaking out to drink、yeah. or something like everywhere. So yeah. And in Morocco, yeah, basically, young people? people, as I said, are not really supposed to drink. So, oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to begin with, yeah.、Uh, so there isn't much culture around alcohol. Well,、right. people drink, but there are bars in in. Of course, in, like, you can go, but not when you're really young, like eighteen, sixteen, seventeen. You can't find, like. I mean, when you still like live at home with your parents, you're probably. Yeah, again, yeah, you can't. It's、yeah. really tough if you're young. Uh, you have to live on your own, or you can be a little bit、mm. uh, older、right. to do that. But、uh, as I said, you're not supposed to drink at all.、So. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, and yet, there's a beer and everything. Oh, the, yeah. Of course, the nightlife culture. So let's talk a little bit about、uh, tailgating, which you have to explain tailgating to the rest of us. Yeah, so tailgating mostly、um, is around like sporting events in the states. And so, what'll happen is, let's say there's a night game、um, for football, baseball, whatever,、um, NFL or college, whatever.、Um, people will go out in the morning and they'll like set up a tent and they'll cook and they'll just party like the entire day until the game.、Um, and yeah, that's pretty much tailgating. Is the idea to get into the game when you're already drunk? Yeah, because like、um, same thing with like bars, like. Even more than bars, like the drinks inside the game are crazy expensive, like four、oh, or five times、sure. than like you would typically、um, get. And so, yeah, you just bring your own alcohol and drink in the, the parking lot because in our sports stadiums there's just massive parking lots,、um, and so and everyone's tailgating. And so you'll go out there and it'll just be like the entire aisle is just、uh, people tailgating over here, over here, and over here, everywhere. So in Israel, the, like our version of tailgating is、uh, where also because. It, Alcohol in the bar is very expensive.、Yeah. A beer could be, I think, like ten、uh, dollars.、Yeah. So a lot of people, especially people who live outside Tel Aviv and they need, they want to drive into Tel Aviv, they'll park their car somewhere, and then they'll open the back of the car and have like a cooler with、uh, alcohol or vodka and, and beer, and they'll drink out of that. So that then, when they get into the bar or the club, they're already drunk and they don't have to spend money in the、yeah. in the club or bar. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is charging cover, because、uh, I know that in 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 Germany it's very common when you go to a bar or to a club、uh, you, they charge cover,、yeah. right? And in Israel, very very rarely do you find a, a party that charges cover. Usually, those aren't the best parties, the parties that that you have to pay to get into.、Um, But yeah, but in 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 Germany, I think it could be very、really、expensive、yeah. to just get into the、yeah. bar, even before the alcohol. Yes, yeah. Sometimes there you have a bar、um, where you can also dancing, and they have to pay as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it could be like more like twelve euros or. Yeah, ten, ten, twelve. Yeah. And in in Japan, they never ch- do they charge cover in the. Yeah, yeah. When it comes nightclub, in like, the night club, like fifteen bucks or something. Yeah, but like before the. Ten p.m. or something. It's like entrance free time. Well, like、mm. women, a lot of women can go free, and the men have to pay for the entrance fee.、Mm. Yeah. yeah, sometimes we have the special like the,、yeah. it's the same. So when you go early, you have to pay nothing. Or the girls for the girls special,、yeah. you have to pay nothing. And 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 like, are there some clubs where I think、um, in in Germany it's it's pretty common, but I I'm sure it happens. I've seen it happen in the U.S. I don't know how common it is. That there's like a bouncer, and the bouncer would、uh, just decide of like they have their criteria who can get into the party and who can't. And you might stand in line for like an hour, and when you reach the door, the bouncer will say, "No, you can't get in." And、yeah. is that is that a common thing? Oh, in, that's in... cool. <laughs> yes, that's that in Germany, yeah, yes. And so I think、um, something common in like. Greek life, so like college party culture, nightlife is a lot of the your nights out will be planned by your fraternity or sorority, and so they'll have bouncers and stuff there that'll check and see if you're with that fraternity or sorority, and so、um, if you're not with like that group, you might not be able to get into that bar、mm-hmm. for a certain night. But、yeah. it's not about like the way you're dressed or the kind of culture you're from or. Well, actually,、um, my friend told me a story about her friends, and she, on her twenty-first birthday, the bouncer was like, "No, you're not twenty-one," and he cut her license right in front of her. Whoa! Was、Even、it a real I, license? Yes. Oh my god! Because it's, it's so easy to like 
if you're 18, you could get into a bar if you have a fake ID. It's like $60 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for two copies. So, yeah. Do they ever card people in Japan? I don't, I've never seen anyone card. Like fake card the orphan? Like, like ask you to show that you're over a certain age when they sell you alcohol. Uh, it's getting very, like, popular. I mean, po- not popular. How can I describe it? Common? It's yeah. very, very common. Because, like... Asian friends is like, tend to be a little bit younger, so mm-hmm. people always need to, I don't know, like who like under the twenty years old or something. So people always have to, not always, but like tend to be very common. All right, and in in Morocco, um, no, they never ask you for for anything. Never. Uh, no. So basically, like the the let's say the pro the, the self prohibition is, is 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 internal. It's something that you you bring from home. They won't card you or ask you or, you know. Again, if you're young, you're not go and buy alcohol to begin with. Again, mm-hmm. it's a, it's a different culture. It's a, yeah. So we wouldn't do that at all. Uh, so if you're like older, you can basically go and buy whatever you want. And because you're older, or at least look older, they wouldn't ask you for any ID or anything. No, I've never heard that. I never seen that. No. And in the US, they card, I think. Some places they card everyone. Yeah. Even if you look like 60, I think you, oh, yeah, you might be carded. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. In yeah. Germany? In Germany is the same. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, and what's the drink, legal drinking age in Germany? Uh, 18. 18. Oh, right. 16 for beer, so. What? what? Yeah. 16 for beer? Yes. You and 18 for liquor. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. for beer and... and um, wine? And wine. And yeah. then 18 is for... Uh, like hot stuff. All right. Wow. So let's talk a little bit about. Okay, we, let's transition. We finished the bars. We're 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 good. Uh, we're we're nice and drunk. And now we want to go out to like a nightclub. How's the like disco or you know dance bars? How's the nightclub scene in in Morocco? Oh, I think it's the same everywhere. What's like the most common uh, type of music, or is it anything yeah, some, unique? Yeah, sometimes uh, you can have like some local music or Khaliji music. Mm-hmm. What is that? What's Khaliji? It's like the music from the Gulf. Okay. The Gulf, because a lot of people are coming from the Gulf to party in Morocco, mm-hmm. because don't, they don't have like any clubs in in, in, the, in Gulf? the Gulf region. Yeah. So we have a lot of Saudis and stuff. Mm. So that's the kind of music you would find most bars because that. The largest like part of the clients are from that region, mm-hmm. and then you have like some local music, okay. And I have to ask this because I mean, if you if you walk, I think I've been to clubs in Germany and in, in Japan and in Israel. Uh, people, you walk in and everybody's dressed like very. I don't want to use the word provocative because you know, it's very judgmental, but you know, people are dressed very. I don't know, like. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> but how is? But in Morocco, I have no idea how how would you how would you see people? There's like an idea that if you want to go to a nightclub, you have to like wear like something really formal, like formal. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but that's the uh, <laughs> yeah. You can't get in with a t-shirt and a short. You can't do that. Yeah. Really, and how is that in Chicago? Like, I think um, it, if if anywhere, I would say it's like that in Chicago that you have to like have nice shoes or or, or I might be completely no. wrong, or I might be thinking of New York. <laughs> Well, that might be like older, like age groups. If like if you're going like a really fancy like mm-hmm. event or something like that, maybe. But like we're college students, we're not going to like the really fancy stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I mean, I know that some nightclubs in in the East Coast in the U.S. they have a dress code. Mm-hmm. You yeah, have to wear. Yeah, you can't wear shorts. You can't wear uh, no flip flops. You can't wear mm-hmm. oh, yeah, torn so down yeah, t-shirts. So like there was like some restro. Um, Risto bars? No, Risto bars that uh-huh. require like a dressing code. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how are people to get to a bar? You need to to dress, yeah, a little bit formal. Like. So how are like people dressed in a nightclub in Japan? How's the? Oh, it's exactly the same like what we you guys are talking about. You know, like some nightclub can now go with like shirts with a flip flops or something, but like it's like easy nightclub can go like everything what you wanna wear. Mm-hmm. You know. As you are comfortable, yeah, for dancing or something. But people don't use usually don't dance a lot in Japan. Really, <laughs> really? <laughs> because we're shy. After, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> and in Germany, it really depends, I guess. Yes, um, when you want to go in a famous uh, club, you have there's a dress code. So, um, the for the man with shorts, no entry. 
but when you want to go to a, like a normal club, it's okay when you... Just a t-shirt and yeah. jeans? Yeah. I don't think I've yeah. ever seen a person in a suit in a nightclub in Israel. Ever. No. Ever. Unless it's a tourist. And then everybody would point him out and say, <laughs> oh, he's probably American or British or German or something like that. He would never be Israeli. First of all, it's hot. And also, nobody wears a suit uh, to a nightclub. <laughs> I want to touch just like a, a kind of a sensitive subject, which is uh, how the drug culture is in, in nightclubs and bars especially, I guess, nightclubs. In, I think in Tel Aviv, obviously, there's a lot of nightclubs, there's a lot of discotheques, there's a lot of, uh, you know, hard partying, and, and drug culture is obviously part of that. But not, I don't think it's that prominent, uh, at least not in, in Tel Aviv and in the cities. I think that's more um, common in parties that are like in rural areas, because in, in Israel, we have like kibbutzim and mm-hmm. like the rural places where they have... There are parties like out in the, the outdoors. And that is very, very common uh, that people would have those parties and, and either they, they, they use, you know, they take uh, LSD or acid or MD or ecstasy or mushrooms. And every party has like, a, people even know ahead of time, oh, I'm going to a party in this and that kibbutz because mm-hmm. there's going to be a guy who hands out mushrooms or there's going to be um, ecstasy or MD or things like that. And... Obviously, it's illegal, but it's, um, it's not frowned upon. You know, people know, I, I, like good people, normative people who hold down very uh, normal jobs, it'll still, it might still be part of their lives to every weekend or every other weekend or every once, every once in a while to go out to one of those parties and, and, and experience that kind of um, drug culture, which is, again, not mainstream, but it's, it's not like completely uh, out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how is it like uh, drug culture? How does that uh, intertwine with? Uh... No, it's uh, it's mostly alcohol, really. Um, I would say drugs are usually used for by like on your own. Mm-hmm. Okay, when you smoke weed on your own, mm-hmm. for example, but it's not really something that you can see, for example, in night in the clubs or something mm-hmm. like that. So, mm-hmm. no, it's not really that common. And in Japan, Japan has a very strict policy super, about uh, about drugs. Rigid. Yeah, yeah. Like a couple of years ago, like some rapper got arrested by smoking weed, and it was huge in news. Mm. Yeah, yes. it's like huge in news. Like in the US, some people like smoking weed. Like who cares or something, right? But like in Japan, it's like huge, like super not good. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so there isn't. So where uh, I mean, not I'm not advocating uh, the use of drugs. I'm I'm really just inquisitive, and I'm I'm, I'm interested in knowing wh- how does that uh, usually in the rest of the world, um, drug culture and nightlife culture are intertwined. Yeah. They have a lot in common. People usually don't take at least hallucinogenics and and things like acid and mushrooms. They don't take it when they're home uh, watching Netflix. I'm not talking about weed. I'm talking about like yeah. harder drugs. So how does how does that culture look like in, in Japan? Is it like very, very, very taboo out there? Nobody goes or secret or... Oh, taboo. Taboo? taboo. Yeah, yeah. It's like, for me, it's like a different word. Wow. Yeah. I've never seen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's interesting. And in the US? It's very easy to access any drug. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I know a friend who has like a plug for like weed, acid, shrooms um different things i was at a party once at a friend's house and i was waiting in line to go to the bathroom and someone was like asking everyone in line if they want to buy cocaine from him i was like no. so is it something that you would encounter in in like your run-of-the-mill nightclub or is it something that unique that you have to go to special clubs to, to find uh yeah not in clubs <laughs> not in clubs no um I mean, yeah, you could sneak it in. I don't know anyone who's, like, snuck in, like, hard drugs into a nightclub. And in, in Germany? I think um, in Germany, the, most of the people are drinking alcohol. But I think there are special areas, like in Berlin, there's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know yeah, those areas, yeah. you find everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think they're, like, a... Underground clubs where you can get all the stuff. I think so. I never been there, but it sounds like very one individual country. 
All right, guys. But it's not legal, so. No, of course, of course. All right, guys, I want to thank you very much uh, for taking part. We're going to do a rapid fire question, which we always do. I'm going to ask everyone the same question, and I just wanted you to answer as fast as you can. You give me your local answer. All right, we're going to do. We're going to do it this way, all right? So we're going to start with uh, Muhammad. Yeah. Give me your favorite local snack, like chocolate bar or something. What's your favorite? What's the favorite? Your favorite Moroccan snack? Moroccan snack? Yeah. Um, we don't have snacks, really. Well, you can come out of here. <laughs> 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 we have, like we have meals. We don't have, like, snacks, really. So, like, uh, what do you... Like, what would you take with you with your on your bag if you were like I don't know you have like a long train uh, ride like a sandwich with meat or something like that with yeah meat? yeah all right meatball masao what's your favorite japanese snack uh, rice balls <laughs> rice balls uh, maybe like it's not proper answer but like it came up first so <laughs> yeah. it came up all right <laughs> ariana um white cheddar smart pop popcorn it's like in a bag. It's it's amazing. Okay, I'm I'm gonna have to try that. Dayton, uh, I personally am very big on Nutella. Nutella. Big Nutella guy. But that's not American. Oh, it, 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 but it's good. It's it I, I mean. <laughs> and your favorite like American uh, snack? Um, so maybe not like snack, but like I know like the South is known for like fried chicken, right. and so like. You know, there's like the fast food restaurants. There's might be like one McDonald's, one Burger King, and then like five fried chicken places around, like right. everywhere. Yeah. All right, fried chicken and. and I think in Germany snack. there are special snacks. I don't know, but I like uh, like nuts or something. Nuts? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say a gozi, which is like a. It's like a chocolate bar with like nuts. I haven't had that in like in years, but it just came up through my head. I don't know why. It's like it's this nutty flavor. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. I have had a pleasure, and uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'll put the links to everything you said in the description of the video and the podcast. And if you guys like the podcast, please subscribe and let us know in the comments uh, how things are like where you're from. And once again, I want to thank my, my wonderful guests and Traveler House Hostel, which we're all enjoying as, at the moment. I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.